Well, he was doing great after his first transplant done in 2012. He unfortunately developed a severe respiratory condition after a viral infection. He needed a retransplant, and it's such a small center in Oklahoma City that they do not do retransplants, and so they referred us here to Pittsburgh. We thought that we had just flown my husband out here to die, and that was it. That's what we thought. We couldn't believe that we had made the trip for that. My first reaction was, you know, we really want to help this patient. Is that anything that we have available? I have the fortune of, of to work with some of the brightest, you know, engineers in, in the development of, of artificial lungs here, the McGowan, in Pittsburgh. And uh, one of them is Dr. Bill Fettersbill. Dr. Bermudis, he came and he changed everything with just letting us know that if we could get the CO2 down, and if we could get the fluid off of him, that he would go ahead with the surgery. And I was aware of a, a device in which we've been working with him that he has developed and has had some use and had recent IDE approval in Europe for the same purpose of CO2 removal. And for that reason, we thought if there was a technology that was available somewhere in the world that could be useful in this condition would be this hemolung. And um, he told us that it was something that could save John's life, that it would bring the CO2 down to manageable levels, and that he could get retransplanted if it worked. But we had to get approval, an emergency approval, to get it from the FDA and the hospital. The approval finally came thanks to Diana Zaldonis. Once we decided that this could be possible, she was able to get us approval. That was really a, a miracle. It worked instantly. The hemolung brought his CO2 down to wonderful levels, very manageable, and all of the nurses and the doctors and the perfusionists were all very astounded. It's the first time that it's been used in the U.S., so no one had seen it. And it's basically an oxygenator that runs blood through it. The main objective of this device is to clear CO2. It has a little function of, or little percentage of oxygenation, but mostly CO2 removal. And so far, we have run this for close to a week or eight days. We have had a very good decrease in CO2 in the patient to a, almost a normal level. There's fabulous doctors here, there's fabulous nurses, and we have not had a complaint about anyone, and it has been a great experience. We are a center that really focuses on helping patients that uh, you know, are difficult. We're all committed for that reason. They come from uh, different areas in the country to get their transplant done here in Pittsburgh.